we get ready for them to go up through the gears and start the race here at Talladega. Green flag is out. Green, 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 green. like a train coming up to speed as the engine churning out the horsepower to get these cars up to speed down the back stretch they go two by two it takes nearly a full lap to get to full speed these engines are restricted down to 450 horsepower so it takes a little bit of time to get some momentum very very organized to start so many times we see manufacturers working together Fords with Ford Chevy's with Chevy's well, right now at the start of this race, you've got to dance whoever you have come with. Ty Dillon leads the inside lane. We'll see who makes the first wave to pit road. I know some Fords. There you go. They peel off. It looks like about eight, maybe 10 cars. Pretty clean to pit road. No tire lockup. Let's see what everybody decides. Are we going to say probably gas only and a very short stop would be my guess. Dave. See, I've been monitoring the 12 of Ryan Blaney, and that is the case. Also the same for the 6 of Brad Keselowski. Just fuel, and then get back together and get back in that drafting line. Austin Sindrick has Carlin. Here comes the 12. Ryan Blaney. And Blaney needs the points. Austin Sindrick falling back in the middle. Eight-car, eight-car, Bush is in the wall. Contact made. The one of Ross Chastain goes around. He tags the wall. There was Part contact the wall, made between the eight and the one. And Ryan Blaney, under caution, is going to win stage one here at Talladega. Huge issue for Chastain. No stage points and a torn-up race car. This could be the end of the day for him. There's the end of the stage. Ryan Blaney gets the win in stage one, which is 10 stage points. It was Chastain that got into the side of the eight of Bush. Take a look at this. Bush up into the wall there as he was pushing the 47. Then Chastain gets into the side of him and into the wall he goes. Contact with the eight. Sends the one into the wall. The caution comes out just before the end of stage one. Playoff drivers involved. Let's take another look and listen in to what happened with the 47 here in front of Kyle Busch. starts to stumble. You see the hand out the window. Look, we're hearing in on the radio that the 47 ran out of gas. So, I mean, he was only on pit road for 4.7 seconds. Gas only stopped. They must not have got enough in. That makes sense of why he's dropping back so far. The car's still running on idle around at slow speed, but at wide open throttle at full fuel demand, you need a lot of fuel pressure. 47 runs out and causes the first big wreck. 10 stage points for Ryan Blaney. One, Larson also three. leading him, got eight as stage two is now underway. Blaney up front with the nine of Chase Elliott on the outside, a big fan favorite here at Talladega. Blaney getting a big push from William Byron in the 24, that throwback paint scheme. Keep an eye on that eight car and see how Kyle Busch performs after the slight contact with the outside wall. I hope or think he'll be okay. Missed opportunity for stage points for that team, but stage two is another chance to go up there and try to find those points they need to climb back into the points race. 300 Motorsports cars right in a row on that outside line with Elliott, Larson, and Bowman. We'll see if those three working together can get one of the cars out front. It's Byron up front, but now the aggression will start. Those stage points, very important. Kislowski, Reddick, 
Larson, Trex Jr., all right there in striking distance to get points here in stage two. Keselowski in third. Reading back in seventh. Keselowski jumped to the outside, trying to get on the outside of William Block Byron. Block both, back to the bottom. He's going to clear. Nobody helping that 24 on the inside. Will Keselowski be able to hold on and get the stage win? Big run coming. Will the three stay committed? Top here, three top, three top, three top. The 24 slows three the three down, but here comes the push. The 14 and the three. Through the trioval and the race back to the finish line. Keselowski's going to get it. He'll win stage two. Byron Logano, Dylan Elliott, top five. Suarez, Briscoe, Larson. There's a fire, Rick. Yeah, on we got a yeah, gas can has come out onto pit road, and we're seeing the fire there. It got drug out into the middle of pit road and a big fire. As some of the crews are making their way out there to put that out. So this pit road stop has a few cars that come out, one of them being the 54 of Ty Dillon bringing the gas can along with him. It ignites and lights pit road on fire. Done. You're watching the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. Yellowwood 500 from Talladega. Now four wide as the 23, 17 side by side. The 11 is not going to leave the back bumper of the 23. And now as they're shifting, trying to find whichever one, whichever line has momentum. Here comes Busher with Logano pushing him back as well as Briscoe on the outside with the 14. Ride. Oh, we got wreck in the back. Got a big crash They're behind sliding behind as it went across the start finish line. The caution has Frank come out. Keselowski's involved in it. You see him hit the inside wall. Big damage, it looks like, to Austin Dillon. In the three. Brad Keselowski. Playoff I'll driver. There's the three of Dillon. Kozlowski now below the cut line. Let's take a look at what happens. Carson Hosevar on the outside line. Getting a push from Brad Kozlowski here through the trioval. And it just turns that 42 sideways. Oh, man, massive, massive impact for the outside wall, the 54 and the three. The three somewhat lessened a little bit of that blow when he collects the six as well, but hard hit for the 54. Right along with Busher. Three, check, 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 check. Left, left, if you can, left, 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 come down straight, just break, 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 break. Push him straight forward, all right, you're clear, straight forward. They're still wrecking up. You know, we talk about pushing and how important it is, but Brad Keselowski has caused a lot of wrecks on these plate in these races with this car by pushing. He has been very aggressive. And once again, just pushing a little too hard at the wrong time. Car got in the air there briefly. Not good to see. Good thing it did come back down. But that is a difficult place to push someone in the trial the car that you're pushing is very light it's not planted in the ground look at that 13 laps to go at talladega green flag back in the air Outside line not getting going here. Will Hertz use the right amount of aggression when he pushes this 12 car? It's taking them a long time to get going here. They're losing multiple spots. 
finally they got a little momentum, but they're really not moving anywhere down the back straightaway. Four cars had cleared that 12 of Blaney. Now five cars are in front on that low line. Let's see if the momentum comes back to him. Yeah, here it comes now. Outside's much more organized. Good momentum on the outside. They go up top to block it. With you. Harvick jumped Harvick up Harvick. there. So now Blaney pushing Harvick. I like that combination better on this outside line. Under two laps to go. But again, will Herbs be aggressive enough to be able to help this 12 get back toward the front of the field, back into the lead? Is he going to push Blaney hard enough down these straightaways to be able to clear this 12? The third line hasn't moved, but now gaining. Another car, we'll see if they can go. Side drafting, happening up front. Blaney on the high side, Harvick on the inside. Through the trioval they go. One lap to go, presented by Credit One Bank. Oh, he almost spun the 12. Herbst into the back of Blaney. That cleared Harvick. Harvick is clear of the 12. Now he's got to have to blow both lanes. The 12's going to have gonna a go little on. momentum here. I think Harvick can hop back in front of the 12. Big run coming. Okay, okay, okay. The 12 to the inside. Shuffles the four out. Now Blaney and Harvick down the back stretch for the final time and into turn three. Blaney with a push from the 24 of Byron. Here comes Harvick on the outside. Can the 36 get to the back bumper of the four and give him a big push? Momentum coming. They're side by side through the trioval. Blaney, Harvick, Blaney, Harvick. They spin behind him. It's going to be Blaney. Blaney gets the win at Talladega. Good job, Josh. Made the move on the back stretch he had to make. When Harvick went high, he dove to the inside. There was enough room down there to jump in front of Byron. Byron forced to give him the push that he needed through the trioval to give him just enough, literally almost a foot, to beat this four car across the finish line. 12 one thousandths of a second, separating one and two, Blaney and Harvick. Saw the 42 of Hosevar, or excuse me, the 36 of Riley Herbst sideways when he crossed the start finish line. He gets a little help here from the seven. He gets up the racetrack and just gets a little clip in the left rear quarter panel. Denny Hamlin ends up fourth after being a lap down and fighting his way back up toward the front.